Hey, Bon. Whatcha doing? Oh, hey, Gert. I'm decorating. Someone special is celebrating their birthday today. Ooh, that makes me wonder. How are humans made? How do they grow through all those years? Good question. Well, there's a process called meiosis and mitosis. Meiosis is for sperm cells and egg cells. Mitosis is for other cells. Whoa, whoa, slow down, Bon. Whoops, <laughs> sorry, science excites me. Anyway, we living things are composed of cells, very tiny cells. And in those cells are other organelles that keeps the cell alive. One important organelle is the nucleus. The nucleus is the brain of the cell. It controls the cell's activities, protein production, and it's surrounded by a thin covering called the nuclear membrane. The nuclear membrane protects the nucleus. Oh, like a shield. Cool. And the nucleus is important because it contains DNA, right? Yes. And do you know what DNA stands for? Deoxyribonucleic acid. Fancy, Fancy word. word! DNA is a big molecule that stores instructions on how a cell will perform its activities. DNA is tightly packed in chromosomes, which looks a lot like the letter X. And there are places in the chromosome where genes are stored. That's why you look like your parents. That's because genes carry out genetic information passed down to you from your parents, your grandparents, the parents of them, the parents of their parents, uh, you know what I mean. But going back to chromosomes, there are 23 pairs of chromosomes, that's 46 in total, in each human cell. Except for sperm and egg cells, but we'll talk about that later. Oh, and the nucleus also contains the nucleolus responsible for making proteins. And proteins are like food for your cell. Yes, and the substance keeping all the organelles in place in the cell is the cytoplasm. The cytoplasm is like the blood in our body, but for the cell. It's jelly-like and thick, but it's mostly made of water. But that doesn't really answer my question, Bon. How do humans grow? Remember when we were younger and our parents used to say that we grow bigger? Mm-hmm. Well, that's wrong. Cells in our body multiply through a process called mitosis. It's when DNA is replicated and the cell splits into two new cells. That's why we look a lot bigger now than we were when we were three. Oh, well then, how are humans made, Bon? Well... Do you also remember when we were younger, our parents used to say that we're a gift from God. And when we weren't born yet, we were angels, right? Yep. Well, we'd like to address this concept with the power of science. So buckle up. Whee! We actually come from two gametes combined. A sperm cell and an egg cell. The sperm from your dad and the egg from your mom. These cells are found in the reproductive system of our body. Remember that other cells have 46 chromosomes? Well, gametes only have 23 because when you combine two together, you get one fertilized egg. And once that egg is fertilized, we call it a zygote. And through repeated mitosis and cell division, this zygote turns into a baby. And then a baby to a child, a child to a teenager, teenager to an adult, then a parent, then you know what I mean. <laughs> but, like other cells, gametes also undergo a process called meiosis, where they multiply. Let's go through the process together, shall we? Sure, let's focus on oogenesis. That's the fancy word for meiosis for egg cells. The first phase is called interphase. Here, the egg cell will do cell activities, perform cell functions, and most importantly, copy its DNA. Interphase is where the cell spends most of its time. Then, prophase 1 happens. The chromosomes, note that I'm using 4 pairs, which is 16 chromatids, thicken and pair up with their homologous pairs. 
homologous pairs are chromosomes with the same gene locations. Once they find their partner, crossing over happens where the chromosomes exchange gene information. Also, during prophase 1, the nucleolus disappears, and spindle fibers, which are attached to the centrioles, form and attach their other ends to the centromeres of the chromosomes. Then, metaphase 1 happens, where the paired chromosomes line up in the middle of the nucleus. Then, anaphase 1 happens. The chromosomes are separated from their pairs and are pulled away by the spindle fibers to the opposite ends of the nucleus. So, we end up with two pairs of chromosomes at either end. Then, telophase 1 happens, where the two new nuclei are formed and the nucleolus reappears. Also, the cell starts to split. Then, cytokinesis takes place, where the cytoplasm is also split and two new cells are formed. But, we're not done there. Those two new cells undergo the second division of meiosis, prophase 2. This is when spindle fibers form and attach their ends to the centromeres again. But remember that since we started with four pairs of chromosomes, we only have two, since we split them evenly during the first division of meiosis. But this time, these chromosomes don't have to pair up with their homologous pairs anymore. For metaphase 2, the chromosomes will line up in a line again. Wait a minute, shouldn't they be in pairs like last time? Since the chromosomes were split from their homologous pairs, then they just have to line alone. So, for anaphase 2, the chromatids are pulled away to the opposite ends of the cell. Then, for telophase 2, two new nuclei is formed and the cell starts to separate. Lastly, cytokinesis takes place, dividing the cell into four haploid cells. Each of the cells still look the same. There's a gamete membrane, which is the protective covering outside the gamete, and they still contain chromosomes. Yes, the difference of a gamete to our other body cells is that other body cells are diploid, and gametes are haploid. Diploid cells are cells with two sets of chromosomes, while haploid cells are cells with one set of chromosomes. For the parent cell, it's a diploid, while the four daughter cells are haploid gametes. Let's see how many possible combinations of daughter cells are there for our cell with four chromosome pairs. That's 2 times 2 times 2 times 2, or 2 to the 4th power. And that's equal to, with my calculations, 16 possible combinations. Wow, that's a lot. Yep, good job. Can you believe that all this happens just to make you, you, science rules? Aw, yes. But before we end, let's sing a song to two important people. Happy birthday to, to you. Happy birthday to, to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy Thanks for watching!